All right, everybody, we got the first update on my new native tank here, my first little progress video. Uh, some of you probably have seen the videos where I prepared this tank and I talked uh, at length about how I uh, sterilized, or lack of a better word, the wood and the rocks that were in here. And I described that I did not boil the rocks or treat them uh, with bleach or anything, chiefly the rocks to the right, simply because of their size, and because since I was putting the wood in there untreated, I didn't see any point in really sterilizing the rocks. I then treated the tank for four days with a pretty heavy dose of hydrogen peroxide, but not an insane amount of you know hydrogen peroxide. I put a quart in the 125 gallon tank, I let it set for two days, and then I added another quart I let that set for two days and then I did about a 75 or 80 percent water change uh, to get the hydrogen peroxide out of the tank. So all of that and before I put the rocks in, remember I scrubbed them uh, as thoroughly as I could with my uh, wire brush. Not a plastic scrub brush but an actual wire brush. So I was sitting here looking and I noticed a bright green spot. When I looked at it a little more closely and a little more carefully, I saw that I've got a little patch of Spirogyra algae. In fact, now that I'm up here against the tank looking at it a little more closely, I can see I've got quite a bit of it here on the top of this piece of rock. So All of that treatment and that algae still got through all of that and it looks like there's a little bit growing on the wood right there that could possibly even be cyanobacteria uh, you can see the uh, minnows in the tank have gotten over their fear of me they now identify me as the food source in the tank uh, I actually just fed them twice and they're still acting like that so there you go um, I always tell people you know there's a reason algae is one of the oldest living life forms on this planet it's some pretty durable stuff it's hard to kill uh, I'm not worried about it I don't really care the first water change I do I'll make sure I do enough that I get that rock exposed above the water surface and I'll spray it down really well with hydrogen peroxide uh, maybe even scrub it with a little soft bristle brush and clean it up and get as much of that out of there but remember it's algae a single cell left in the tank will start growing and dividing and given enough time I'll have that algae growing in the tank again so it's just you know it's part of what you do when you've got a, a tank you've got water you've got light you've got nutrients you're gonna have algae um, the only downshot on this one is the particular species of algae it's pretty aggressive it's a very fast grower I've got a lot of light in this tank and my tanks typically tend to be heavily stocked uh, therefore that algae will grow pretty fast and get all over everything so pretty soon I'm gonna need to start considering uh, more algae eating fish or maybe even get myself an off walks grazer uh, I believe the eastern stone rollers will uh, do that for me if I want an off walks grazer I'm not hundred percent sure I haven't done a ton of research on that yet uh, but that is one direction I'm looking. So if you know of any off walks grazers or any fish that will vigorously eat algae, uh, besides mosquito fish and guppies, I'm not really interested in going that route. I'm looking for something more of the off walks grazer, you know, more of a sucker type fish. And if you're familiar with one native to the northeast here, uh, here in Maryland, let me know and I will consider putting it in the tank. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let that be a lesson to you. It's really, really tough no matter how much you prepare this stuff uh, to get it really, really sterile and clean unless you really do boil it or put it in your oven or something. You can scrub it and scrub it and scrub it all you want, but just a single cell of that stuff gets by and it's in your tank. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. That way you won't miss any of the updates I got coming up. we got a long way to go with this tank and it's going to be a lot more fun. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you real soon.